Uh, this is my friend Harry. Hi. Harry is a great chef. To me, he's amazing. I learn a lot from him, <laughs> even cutting skills. He's tremendous. He is going to teach us all on how to make a beef wellington, which is perfect for Easter. You gotta go to your butcher and you have to get a really nice cut of tenderloin. It took him a while to cut this yeah. piece, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So um, I wasn't, I wasn't, I didn't realize it was gonna be $103, but. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, you wanna know how many people you're serving. It's about maybe three eighths of a pound to about a half a pound is what you're gonna do per person. Look at that. Oh my goodness. It almost looks like tuna. It kind of yeah. does. It's, I like the marbling yeah, of it. Yeah, so it, but it's a very lean piece of meat. You, know, you just want to drizzle it with some olive oil. No, you just nice and coated. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna um, we're gonna pepper all the edges, all the sides of it. Yeah. Okay. Go and ahead. And then salt. Make sure you get all that nice, get nice and salt rubbed all in there. I want you to take this truffle. Truffle zest. Yes, truffle zest. But you can use any kind of, you were, we were looking for truffle. Well, truffle powder, truffle seasoning, truffle zest. It, it adds a nice um, flavor to the Wellington. You do want to like, you want to massage it, it, you know, because it is a, a very lean piece of meat. And thick. Roll out. So what we're going to do is we're going to take Yikes. this tenderloin right like this. Uh huh. Put it on here. Pull this back over it. And then we're gonna we're gonna let it marinate in the fridge overnight. 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 I hope you enjoyed that. Program. I've never seen so many mushrooms in my life. Oh, we're not done yet. <laughs> this is labor intensive here. We're gonna make the the duck cells. The duck cells. Yeah. Okay. Which is a. Uh, um, the mushroom paste for the Wellington. Legit 40 minutes of chopping. It ends up looking because you want about um, you want a, about 32 ounces of um, of cremini's for the duck cells. This is what you want it to look like eventually. Like you want it to get down to that texture, that that fine, 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 thin. And like very, it takes a long time. Yeah. That's about 40 ounces of mushrooms. And it's probably gonna reduce down to about half that with the paste. Okay, so now that we have that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start slicing and dicing our shallots, some garlic, and some thyme to add to this. We're gonna start to saute the duck cells to reduce them down to get all the, um, the moisture out of them. We got that, nice piece of butter, unsalted is what we want to use. Yeah. So we're going to stick that in the pan. So we want to get the butter nice and melted. So we want to put the shallots in like this. Get them a little translucent. And then now we want to take some garlic. We're going to add some garlic to it. Dump it all in. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> so you just cook it till it's translucent. Yeah. Add about two to three tablespoons of olive oil to it once the butter starts cooking down. And then next we'll put a little bit of salt in there. <laughs> and some pepper. So God, it smells so good. Yeah. And now that you see how they're, the shallots are turning translucent. translucent yeah. yeah. Now we're going to add the duck cell. Well, it's not that technically the duck cells yet until it becomes its mixture, the paste. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Now they're starting to see the mushrooms are starting to bleed out the, uh, 
the moisture. Yes. So basically, what you want to do is you want end up you want to end up cooking it down so much that you end up getting rid of the all that moisture right there. You want to reduce it down until it's a, a more of a dry paste. So now that it's done, I turn the stove off, and then while it's still hot, I'm gonna put some of the the thyme in there. That's good. And you want to do it at the end and then mix it up while it's still hot. Now we're gonna go ahead and stick it right into this bowl. And I'm just gonna scoop it in there so I don't spill it everywhere. <laughs> yeah, see, look at that, it's perfect. And that's what you want it to look like. What you're gonna do now is you're gonna put enough um, vegetable oil because it's a high heat oil. So you could put it in your pan without burning. Basically our baby that's been in the fridge all night. Stand back. Three to four minutes on about each side, about 12, 13 minutes total. Um, so you don't want to overcook it because you're going to end up recooking it again in the oven. Got all, all sides of the Wellington. You want to get the ends of it. Um, this is about what you want it to look like because you're almost, you're double cooking it. This is the, pri this is the primary cooking method of it. The, the baking it in the oven is more for the, um, the warming process of it and to cook the pastry. We're gonna put it on a cutting board. And, let it, and then and we let, let it cool. You let it cool for a little bit. We're gonna take our Dijon mustard and generously apply it to the tenderloin. It helps break up that, that crust on the outside it kind of moistens it a bit yeah just enough to really uh, coat it coat it so what we're gonna do is just we're gonna um, we're gonna place the tenderloin right here you see it right here it's all nice wrap it and wrap it and you wrap the baby back up Wrap the baby back up and then we're gonna stick it in the fridge you want to use about, you know, five to six um, garlic cloves. You can use a little more, a little less. Thank Just you. make sure you don't cut yourself. <laughs>
take a piece of saran wrap and lay it down. And we're gonna be wrapping the tenderloin in the prosciutto, but not yet because we gotta put the duck cells over the, uh, the prosciutto once we lay them out. So. Gently, because you don't wanna tear them. Peel them off and lay them. Ever so delicately? Ever so. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this lovely mixture and just like such. Yeah, prosciutto. you want to cover the prosciutto up, but you don't want to cover it up too much because you still want to have some overlap. We're going to pull this out. And we're just going to lay it down like such. We're going to roll it. I think mine. <laughs> Sometimes if that, this happens, we can just take a piece of prosciutto and just wrap the ends. So, stick it on there like that. We'll just go ahead and stick this other piece over here. So, it's gonna be like that. Can you uh, stick it back in the fridge for how long? Um, you'll just uh, stick it, you're basically just enough time to pull out the puff pastry and get that prepared. And then you can go ahead and set this back down on it. Nice. Just rolling out the puff pastry. That's gonna be um, uh, wrapped in the tenderloin. Or, so then once it's done, we'll go ahead and, and wrap it up and then stick it in the oven. So we're gonna take this and then we're just gonna take the puff pastry, lay it over it. Make sure you got enough on this side. Put some egg wash on it so it sticks. Like that. Pull this. Make it stretch it. Make it stick. This is going to be the bottom side where the seam is. Flip it over. Put some little egg wash on there like that. Up here. Just all around there. Doesn't matter. <laughs> this. 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 Do the same thing over here. Sexy. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. You want to decorate with I want to decorate. It's somewhere around here. Oh, yeah, that's like, good. Uh, it's a star. That's beautiful. It's <laughs> SpongeBob. I love that. Sweet. So we got our baby Wellingtons here ready to go in the oven, all wrapped up in their beautiful puff pastries. So we're going to put these in here. Look at that, like a glove. How long do we cook for, Harry? We're gonna cook it for about 30 minutes in here, maybe maybe a little longer, maybe a little less. So okay. the oven on 400. So since we have two of them in there though, it could be a little little longer. Okay, we're gonna take this, take the, uh, the re that's about what it looks like reduced, and we're gonna strain it like, like that. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, it's like chocolate so. sauce. So we're gonna put, take about um, two cups of, <laughs> of broth. We're gonna take this butter and flour paste. So it's gonna help thicken the, um, the sauce. And it's gonna be a nice, like a, like a Bordelaise. Go ahead and put that in here like this. And then let it reduce down just a little bit more and let it thicken. I know. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment <laughs> of truth. The moment of truth. Here we go. Mmm. Look at me. Nice. Juicy. Wellingtons. Mm. Wow. Wow. I'm so proud of you, Harry. And Kelly. Wait, do we have to let it rest? Yeah, oh, and then here, we got the, and then the nice, uh, the Bordelais. We, Finished up. Oh. Yeah. Well, this is gonna be the end. The butt? So it's not gonna be much in there. See, it's that's the end. Mm. So you wanna get more in the middle. Oh, I can feel this one feels really good. <laughs> I'm getting turned on. Let me see. 
Come here. Oh, look at that. Come here. Yeah, that yeah. looks oh, amazing. OMG. No way. You, you did not nail that that much. 